Black Watch. I don't really want to get into it just yet because I'm waiting for my coffee. <coughs> Excuse me. She was actually nice enough to come tell me that he made it wrong and then offered me the cup, but I'm like, I can't take that with no regular milk in it. That's a whole nother video. Y'all don't want to be a part of that. You don't want to be a part of that if I get some dairy. There might be some sound effects up in this motherfucker. And then after that, that's when it gets bad. But yeah, she uh, she actually told me that he made a mistake on it, which was cool. So I'm just sitting here waiting. But I gotta uh, I gotta get this off my chest because it's the spirit that I need young brothers and young sisters to have. Hell, I need old brothers and old sisters to have. I still need y'all wearing y'all masks. I know a lot of y'all getting mask up, uh, getting vaccines, but I still need people wearing a mask. I was just getting gas at uh, Sam's Club and uh, old man didn't have his mask on. Now, him and his wife might've been vaccinated, but see, don't nobody else know that, you know? So the way I, hold on a sec. Thanks, sweetie, I appreciate you telling me that. Cause that's a whole nother situation if I drink dairy, so. Have a great night, thanks. So, uh, yeah, I done, I done broke her down. See, I done broke her down. She, she's a, she's a Muslim. She wears the, you know, the, uh, is a hijab. Is that what it's called? And she was very stoic with me, like for the first several weeks. I mean it. But I done killed her with so much kindness now, and you know, she just, I broke her down. Okay, it is what it is. You know, you're not gonna keep coming at me and I'm being friendly and I'm being nice and I'm being cordial and I'm being pleasant and you don't smile, you don't do nothing. We already with these masks on, but I can tell when a motherfucker's smiling up under the mask, especially a woman. I'm not really checking for no motherfucking dude to be smiling and shit at me and, and I prefer that they don't. Um, but where she was concerned, she was kind of giving me that mean mug shit and it wasn't her hijab that was over her face, it was just the mask. So, you know, I'm figuring, you know, you, you, you beautiful up under there. At least you can do is be pleasant and smile up under your mask. And when I knew she wasn't, that's when I turned it into high gear and shit. But see, I'm an old motherfucker. She can't, she can't fuck with an old motherfucker with game. You got to understand me. You fuck with me long enough. I'm going to make you smile. Then I'm going to make you laugh. And then after that, that's your ass. But see, I ain't out there in the streets like that. But you know, back in the day, that's how I got them. You know, besides being pretty and shit like this, I had to make them laugh. And once I made them laugh, that's how I got them. Make them laugh, make them lay down. It is what it is. I, I'm, I'm, I'm real about my shit. So y'all know I'm, a, I'm gonna tell it the way it is. But anyway, yeah, he didn't have a mask on and everybody looking at him. And I'm like, well, maybe he got a vaccine. I just read some shit and heard some shit. And if you got your vaccine, you can just be out here now. You can feel good about yourself because you ain't going to get it from nobody and nobody going to get it from you because you're not going to get it. But don't nobody else know because everybody ain't vaccinated out here. Because everybody looking at him like, why he got a mask on? Because the first time I've been in a pump for a long time where everybody had a mask on except one person. It's usually I make the pump and don't nobody else have a mask on. But it was good. I just looked at him and I wanted his monkey ass to say something to me. Because I shut motherfuckers down. When they start trying to talk to me without a mask on, I shut their motherfucking ass down. Mask, please. And then they might not want to talk to me after that, but I don't give a fuck. I don't need you spewing that this way. I don't know if you've been vaccinated, if you're sterile. I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't know if you poured bleach all over your face. I don't give a fuck. I need a mask to ease my mind. I need a mask. I need to see it. But they done told motherfuckers they ain't got to wear masks and they can congregate with people that have been vaccinated. So shit's about to get greasy out here. Motherfuckers ain't going to want to wear their mask once they got their vaccine. But that's okay. If you want to talk to me in public, you'll have one on. Or you'll, you'll double up your shirt and put it over your face. If not, keep it quiet and keep it pushing. But yeah, my brother Lakeith Stansfield, he done stood up and said some shit that I want to see all young brothers and young sisters say. All old brothers and old sisters say. He was talking to a, who a lady uh, who was not black, let's say. 
And I guess race came up, and it tends to nowadays. And she talked about how she felt guilty based on what her ancestors had did to us. And he said, don't feel fucking guilty. You don't need to feel guilty about some shit your ancestors did. You just need to recognize that you benefit from the privilege from which they did. And you need to also understand, we don't want nothing from y'all motherfuckers, but for you motherfuckers to leave us alone so we can be out here and do our thing. Now he said some shit about Wakanda or something like that. I know he basically said like, we want to be on our own and be self-sufficient and solvent. And since he's a thespian, he used the whole Wakanda thing to like make it all good. Cause everything was all good in Wakanda. You know, everything was all good. It was in Oakland and they went to Wakanda and everything was all good. So he's basically just saying like, but for me, for everything to be all good, I think we need to be repaired. I think we need to be restored. And the only way that's going to come is with the full schedule of reparations. So maybe that's what Lakeith said. Maybe that's what he meant. But he basically said, no, you don't need to feel guilty about shit that your ancestors did. Just recognize what you benefit from. And I believe that was some solid shit to say. Really solid shit. Way more solid than Charlemagne was with Bill Maher. And I ain't trying to kick Charlemagne in his nuts on this one and shit. Because hell, I'm, I'm trying to work with that motherfucker down the line. If he gonna have... I believe Charlemagne's gonna probably own his own broadcast network at some point. I think that's what he's striving for. Right now, he's fucking with uh, iHeart and under their umbrella. But I believe he's trying to get his own shit. And if he tries to get his own shit, he's gonna need some real motherfuckers out there. And if he gets some real motherfuckers out there, I should be on the roster. Real shit. Real shit, I should be on the roster. There ain't, there ain't motherfuckers out here that's realer than me. Well, I ain't gonna say realer than me. Because there are some real motherfuckers out here. There's some thorough motherfuckers out here. some deep motherfuckers out here. But who do you know doing what I'm doing the way I'm doing it? Time's up. <laughs> so yeah, the motherfucker basically <coughs> put her in her place <coughs> but he was eloquent about it and that's what we gotta be out here we can't be trying to raw dog motherfuckers I mean we passed that we get this is a business this is a business move now reparations is a business move and we gotta be strategic you see who they sent to, to tear down reparations they sent Burgess Owens they sent Herschel Walker, they sent Larry Elder to tear down reparations for black Americans, descendants of slavery. Now, I'm not saying we need to send entertainers back and athletes back, but we need them at least thinking with this type of mind state. Don't feel guilty, motherfucker. Jump over here with us and tell us your story. Tell us how you benefited from white privilege. Tell us how your ancestors benefited off the bats and the blood and the brutality of black men and black women and black children. We need your allegiance. Don't feel guilty. We need your allegiance. That's what we need. That's what we want. And that's the only thing that's going to really work. Your guilt means absolutely nothing to me. Your allegiance means everything to me because I know that that's what makes this world go around. Because if black folks hadn't been allies to white folks, where the fuck would they be right now? Like I said before and before and before, we were the only skilled tradesmen in this country. We couldn't hold patents. We couldn't hold trademarks. We couldn't hold copyrights. But we were the only black skilled tradesmen in this country because we built this bitch. We built this bitch. And we shouldn't be apologizing for shit. Motherfucker telling us what they gonna give us? No. Let us tell you what we need. You've been giving us shit that ain't worth nothing. Can we tell you what we need? We need reparations. We need repair. 
we need you to undo some of this shit that's been done. And the first thing you can do is give us reparations. We got blueprints for the shit. They just don't want to look at them. Now I hear they might be willing to look at the contract with Black America. Okay, that's still not a full schedule reparations plan. Q did a good job with it. Putting people together who could put some numbers together, put some words together. But it's still not a full schedule of reparations. So I can't just say we're going to sit on a contract with Black America and that's what we need because that's not just what we need. Maybe that can be an addendum. Maybe that can be a, a little bit of extra onto the full schedule reparations. Because a lot of shit that Cube has in there, it's kind of a branch off from reparations. So I'm fucking with it. I'm fucking with it. But I can't deviate from a full schedule of reparations. But I respect Brother O'Shea Jackson, Sr., and his due diligence. Where Puffy at with that black political party? I just seen him on the beach with some leather shorts on. I guess that meeting's canceled. That's why we can't rely on athletes and entertainers. They stay they, they in the pocket when it's hot. But now the election cycle is passed. Joe Biden's in office. Kamala Harris is in office. And Puffy's on the beach in leather shorts. It is what it is. <coughs> when I stuffed this one, <coughs> some of this hemp is so motherfucking dense. I knew this was gonna be a choker. I knew it. And because I, I'll be up there fucking playing musical cheers and shit with my joint, I was like, I'm gonna smoke this motherfucker at night. And boy, oh boy. Yeah, pimping ain't easy. Well, somebody got to do it. So I'm a hemp. I'm a hemp on. But yeah, Brother Lakeith Stansfield put some shit in the atmosphere that we all need to be smelling. We need to be smelling that. Absolutely. Don't feel guilty. Acknowledge it. And get the fuck out our way. Better yet, get the fuck out our way and stand over here with us. Don't show me how guilty you are. Show me how honorable you are. Show me what kind of character you really got. Depending on what kind of non-black person we talking about, they might have benefited from some restoration. They might have benefited from some repair. We know they've benefited from all types of privileges. We know they haven't been redlined. We know they haven't been mass incarcerated. We know they haven't been mass brutalized, mass killed. We know they haven't had to suffer through Jim Crow. We know they haven't had to suffer through peonage, convict leasing. We do know that. We know systemic racism has not been at their head. We know they ain't never had to walk up to a place in the where it said blacks only. But we've had to walk up to many places where it said whites only. Like, goddamn, it looks like a restaurant. I like to eat, I'm hungry. Whites only. Depending on what part of the country he was in, they started putting everybody's shit up there. No Puerto Ricans, no Mexicans, no Asians. God damn. You don't want nobody in this bitch. But that's okay, because we know the goddamn food didn't taste worth a goddamn either. Because if it was whites only and it was only white people cooking the shit, okay, I've met a few white cooks that could cook. I've met a few white chefs who could do their thing. But by and large, y'all food don't be the most seasoned up in this bitch. It don't. And I ain't talking about salty. Salt ain't just seasoning. I'm talking about flavor. I'm talking about savory. And 
Sometimes we just don't get that from the Caucasian folk. But it's all right. It's all right. I can cook my goddamn self. I just need the resources to be able to do so. Now, did they cross the street? Yeah, they crossed the street. We got them flashers in this city. You'd be crossing the street and you don't know in the dark, have they crossed yet? And you'd be like, damn, okay, they must have crossed. And then the motherfucker be right in front of your car. I ain't never hit nobody. Or even come close. I'd be waiting. I'd be like, okay, they on that side and they look and they're walking down the street. You see a motherfucker, he's on that side and he's pointing towards the street. Don't go, dog. Because he ain't crossed. He trying to cross. You hit that motherfucker, boy, you going to jail tonight. Get your affairs in order. And that was a man, woman, and a dog. Oh, yeah, you're doing down. If they don't do nothing, they don't get you for the dog. Kill the dog, and you're done. You can fuck with some humans around here and might get reprimanded a bit, but kill a dog, you're done. Especially in Ann Arbor. Oh, my God. They burning crosses in your lawn and every fucking thing. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, man. Lakeith Stansfield, I love the brother. I, I think he's a great actor. I didn't know about him before Atlanta. And then I started seeing other stuff he had done. Because, you know, you started looking for a motherfucker after you see him and you like the way he performs. So, then I seen some other stuff he'd done. But, yeah, he's one of, he's, he's one of my favorites right now. One of my favorite young guns. I'm still an old school motherfucker. I like the old actor. That's why I got to get to come into America soon. But, uh, yeah, I got to check that out soon. So, the way I see it, what he said needs to stand in the sand. We draw that line. Nah, man, fuck your guilt, dog. Fuck your guilt. We don't need you to feel guilty. We need you to feel what we feel. And if you want to feel what we feel, come on over with us. Come on over with us. We know you like our cooking. We know you like our music. Hell, you like us. And if you're going to bring white guilt to us, nah. It ain't courageous to tell me that you guilty, motherfucker. That, that takes no courage to tell me that you guilty about something that your ancestors did. What impresses me is when you jump over here with me and fight my fight with me. Help me get where I'm going. Help me get where I'm going to get. See, I'm not going to ever say I'm trying to live like white people. I want equality of white people because I'll never have equality of white people. They had a 400 year head start. But let me be solvent in this bitch. I bet you we'll make it bubble. Let me make it. Let me make it to solvency. We'll make it bubble. I ain't got to worry about living like the whites. I just want to live like the rights. Yeah. Fuck living like the whites. Give me all my rights. That's what I'm saying. It's the Black Watch. I know most of y'all motherfuckers are seeing this are probably subscribers. But the ones who are seeing this and are not subscribers, you need to subscribe. I spit fire like this all day, every day. I don't know why you're not a subscriber yet. You should have already hit it while I'm talking about it. Why ain't you subscribed? The next one's going to be just as fiery too. You need to understand that. You need to understand me. Because I'm a black man. And I watch shit. I feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. Get your ass over here with us. One love.